In this section on graphing stories, we will be able to investigate and analyze functions and their characteristics. We're going to begin by looking at graphs. How are graphs helpful? What can a graph represent? Let's check out this video. I'm going to track his movement. Down, up, and landing. Can't do that without knowing about graphs. A graph is a pictorial representation, pictorial, it's a picture, of a mathematical situation. It provides information about the relation between two or more variables. Remember learning about graphs a little bit in the past? Two variables. We have the x and the y that's usually represented in a graph. A graph can be used to describe the changes in a given situation or in a mathematical function. We're going to get more into functions later. Let's begin by reviewing when we have a graph, there's the x-axis and the y-axis goes up and down. The x-axis represents the independent variable. The y-axis represents the dependent variable. Independent x, dependent is y. When a graph is split into four quadrants, the positive quadrant is quadrant one, and then moving to the left, quadrant two, so we move this way around the circle, and then quadrant three, and then quadrant four. Describing a graph. When a graph is increasing, it's moving up as we move from left to right on the x-axis. When a graph is decreasing, the graph is moving down as we move from left to right on the x-axis, just like when we're reading left to right. We read the word decreasing that way, we read the graph going down that way. When a graph is constant, it is neither moving up nor down, it's moving horizontally from left to right like when we read. So again, increasing means up, decreasing means down, and constant means flat, staying the same as we move left to right. Now when a graph is changing, we have a maximum and a minimum point on the graph, such as this point right here is a high point, that's the maximum or max for short. This point is the max, a high point, changing from up to down or increasing to decreasing. The minimum is a low point like a valley, going down, decreasing, and then going up, increasing. So it's a valley. Maximum, it's like a hill. Minimum, it's like a valley. Rate of change, we're gonna talk more about later on. It's a comparison of a change in one quantity with a change in another quantity. Can be described as slope and steepness. Like when we say a graph is increasing, it could increase at a different steepness. This is steep, and then we could draw a graph that is also increasing, but is not very steep. So this is steep, and this is not as steep, for example. Let's do some examples. Label the graphs with the following. The x-axis, the y-axis, increasing, decreasing, constant, maximum, and minimum. Get your highlighter or your color pencil. Where is this graph? Have an x-axis and y-axis. This is horizontal, we'll label the x-axis. This is vertical, we'll label the y-axis. Now we will highlight where this graph is 
increasing. Increasing is going up. If you don't have your highlighter with you, you can label this increasing. And then we'll highlight where the graph is decreasing. Decreasing, going down. If you don't have your highlighter, you can write decreasing, going down. What's the graph doing after? That's right, increasing again. Again, if you don't have your highlighter, write increasing. Now we look for the maximums and the minimums. Well, wait a minute, did we skip where the graph was constant? Was the graph ever flat? No, nope. increasing, decreasing, increasing, never constant. So where do we have a maximum and a minimum? Changing from increasing to decreasing, remember a maximum is a little hill, so here is a maximum point. Let's write max. Minimum is like a valley, decreasing to increasing. That happens right here, so we can write min for the minimum. Let's try another one. Maybe you could pause the video and see if you could do this next one on your own. What's the graph doing at first? That's right, it's decreasing. Then the graph is going up or increasing. Then the graph is flat, so it's constant. That's where it's constant. Again, if you don't have a color pen or pencil, you can write constant. But it'd be more helpful with colors. Do we have any maxes or mins in this picture? We do. We have a minimum. Here is a minimum. No little hill, so no maximum point that we're going to put in this graph. Let's take a look at a few more. What's happening at first? The graph is increasing, then constant, then decreasing. I just realized we forgot to mark the x and y axis. Horizontal, this is our x axis. Vertical, this is our y axis. Go ahead back and label the other ones. In D, here is our x axis and here is our y axis. What is this graph doing? These little steps, constant, constant, constant. That's called a step function. Couple more. Here's our x axis, here's our y axis. What is the graph doing at first? It's decreasing, then the graph is increasing. Do we have a max or min? We sure do. We have a low point. There is our minimum. How about this graph? What's it doing at first? It's increasing. Where's another place where it's increasing? From here to here, increasing. Going up, going up, increasing. What's the graph doing everywhere else? Decreasing and decreasing. Do we have any maximums or minimums? We sure do. Here's the top. Maximum. Here's another top, maximum, and here's a bottom, minimum. Low point, high point. Let's not forget, forget to label our x-axis and our y-axis. Did you try these and get them right? If so, good for you. Using your own words, describe increasing, decreasing, and constant. See you in class.